Welcome. Well, want to talk. Welcome, uh, welcome to Dave. We're going to talk about this amazing sport that's called roll ball, and it has. I'll, I'll invite the El Capitan, Akujapa. Uh, you know, we want to talk about this sport, and uh, it's been. I mean, like we advance. I mean, they've won trophies. I don't know. We'll see them there. Up here at the background, uh, you can see the trophies right there at the back, and uh, we are going to see exactly what the sport entails. And of course, for more of that, the professional. Maybe it doesn't could you introduce. I'm Ogola James Otieno, I'm current referee at the Federation and also a coach. And maybe I would allow my players first to introduce themselves. Yes, hold on, I need to get a microphone. Yes, because uh, as a coach, you must always make sure that your, your players are, are okay, yeah? Yes. Uh, muimu, so, muimu, muimu. I think from the right. So, ones are okay, ladies first. <laughs> Men before. Oh, Paul, we won't have any. All right, go ahead and introduce yourself. My name is Stella. And the position you play. Okay. <laughs> My name is Stella Sihila. Uh, I play role ball for the Kenya team. And I play all, all the positions. Okay. I'm also a, a goalkeeper. Mm -hmm. And I also play in front. All right. And I'm a software engineer. Hey, <laughs> she. Yawa. What's <laughs> that? Um, I'm John Wetwira. Uh, I play the far right position. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I'm also in the Roll Ball Kenya team, mm -hmm. but I play for GOA club. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a personal trainer. All right, all right. Next. <laughs> uh, my name is Angela Kivinji. I'm a Kenya team Roll Ball player. I play uh, for the GOA club, and professionally, I'm a medic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, Gideon Mutemi is me. I play for Red Bull Kenya, far right. Uh, Decathlon is my club, Decathlon Tigers. Yeah. All right. Yes. yes. My name is Evans Bet. I'm a student in JQUAT. I also play for the Kenya national team. And my club, okay, yes, it's JQUAT. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm also a student. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My name is Nason Kiteme. Um, I play for St. Paul's University. Uh, I, at, I play center back, and at the National League, I play right and left wing. Uh -huh. yeah, professionally, I'm a software developer. All right. Yeah, my name is Patrick Nyagamudie. I'm a. I play for JQuad. <laughs> I'm also a student there. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> I do biotech in uh -huh. JQuad. Yeah, I'm a goalkeeper. Biotech. Yeah. My name is Kaisa Onkeo John. Uh, I'm a student. I play for Decathlon Tigers. I was, I'm also a, a player in the national team. Mm. Play, I am a winger. And also, I'm an, I'm an expert in innovation technology. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm looking for to the Okay, you can stay innovation technology. Yeah, it's all good. All right, so uh, maybe before we start, uh, like we did the previous time, uh, and now I know it's, we have the full set here, because to make a far right, to make a goalkeeper, of course, goalkeeper to draw and a goal. Maybe you can let us know and show us exactly where, how formation in the 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 elements of the the makeshift pitch we have over here. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so the red team will go to the far post, uh, the green team will go to this post, then from there I'll elaborate. All right. Keep us to your positions. Uh, so due to, uh, due to time and also improvision, this team, I will use it to show the attackive uh, uh, tactics, okay. and this team, I'll use it to show the de defensive tactics. Okay. So first of all, I'll start with an attacking uh, position of one, two. This is when you're going for a counter where you give the person uh, at the most front the ball, mm -hmm. then goes to shoot. At so that they, moment, when, when they start the game, this is how they're normally standing. Yes, I but get, now at the center. At the center. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, so, okay. oh, really wants to see you at the center. <laughs> Thank you. May you have the ball, please. On this other side, I will use a defensive tactic, mm -hmm. three one. Yeah. So. The remaining team will maintain at the touchline. The non-player comes in front mm. to harass the first threat okay. that will come. Okay, go easy on them. <laughs> As you can see, he's he's hustling for the ball. 
and he has got the ball. <laughs> let's go. Let, let's run that one more time. Go. As you can see, he's hustling for the ball. Advantage of this move, if you get a team that isn't so good at dribbling, mm -hmm. you get an advantage. But then again, if that ball is taken away, you're done with. Right. So it's a risk risk. Uh -huh. Okay, secondly, I will to the center again. Secondly, uh, they will defend on touchline defensive. Okay. So they, they maintain at the touchline. And then them, they will play a spread defensive. This is where they surround uh, the whole defense. Because at that moment, if they're at the touchline, then high chances they have narrowed the center. Mm -hmm. So it is hard to get an op uh, opportunity at the center. Mm -hmm. But now you play with them at the flanks. Mm -hmm. So obviously, as you can see, even now, there's a lot of room at the flanks right. already. Right. Okay? Right. So, okay. play. Wide open, good. Good one. Nice. Let's run that one more time. Goalkeeper <laughs> Korada. Mm. <laughs> So as you can see, ah. roll ball is all about balance, teamwork, yeah. and speed. So now I will I will let you guys attack once so that you see how good the other keeper is on the other side. Okay? So <laughs> <laughs> at the center. So we will play. Since they're short, we will play over balls and play wide. Mm -hmm. Good. Let's go. As you can see, that's a goal. Nice one. Let's run that one more time. So if it's a goal, Una. Nafanya Ivi, yes. Right. Almost. <laughs> Lovely. Go continue. Right. Nice one. Nice defense. One final run. <laughs> Fire upon the keys. Good one. Commit, fake, nice one. Nice play. Back to the center. So the idea of okay. Obviously the idea is to score. To score, yes. <laughs> but then uh what are some like in this game, of course, what are like what a foul? Uh Apa kuna yellow kuna red and just mm -hmm. to uh, turn the red card. Red card. Red card. <laughs> yellow. Yellow. So okay. how, how is it done? What and what is a foul? And then are there penalties as well? Good. So there's a lot of questions really. Sorry. <laughs> okay, let's let's start start with foul. Let me yes. break <laughs> So I will start with fouls. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh the game. As you already know, it has five in players, mm -hmm. infield players and the goalkeeper. Mm -hmm. So there are six. Okay. All these players are commissioned to foul if they do uh, an infringement. So each player only has a chance of up to three fouls. Okay. Yeah. So basically you get your first foul, you get booked. Your second foul, you get booked. If you get your third foul, you get a straight red. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. And then you have to leave uh -huh. the game. And, and that's it. So and you, that's it. You bye bye. Less. Yeah, you will play less. Person, right. So yeah. Also we have team fouls. Uh -huh. There are five players. So you shouldn't pass five fouls for a team. Yeah? Right. So you get booked, I get booked. Three other players get booked from the same team. Those are five fouls. So any other foul after that one is a penalty. So the sixth foul, we commit penalty to the opponents. The seventh foul, we commit penalty to the opponents until the game ends. Mm -hmm. So that uh, is and one what, good thing. What will be like, how do you, you know, draw a foul? Like what happens? Do I... So, so basically, uh, fouls are always oriented to safety. Ah, okay. All the fouls are oriented okay. to safety. Okay. So let me just say common sense fouls that okay. even if you don't play sports, you'll understand. There is no pushing, pulling, scratching, kicking, biting, so heading. Politicians are always a chess Ah, politicians. <laughs> no, but I think Songo Songo can. Him is a good. Ah, I, I would you as you did, <laughs> I was you use him as a, as a good as a good goalkeeper. <laughs> I was reading him a very good goalkeeper. His management skills are good. So. And you know, that's defensive. Anyway. I hope so, he's watching. So, <laughs> so uh, apart from that, uh, uh, are there, like, is so, this, somebody would ask, is this the, the actual dimensions like when you're playing, or this is just for us makeshift? Is this the This size? is a makeshift. Okay. Uh, the official uh, size is 40 by 20 mm -hmm. for seniors. And then uh, 20 by 10 
or or 15 by 30 mm. for juniors mm -hmm. yeah because we also have junior categories uh under from under six under 12 under 15 up to seniors yeah mm -hmm. so on other fouls that you're talking about mm -hmm. uh there is this circle that has semi semi circle that has been drawn right that is a keeper's area so a player is not so allowed is what area you say? keeper's area, keeper's area okay. so in that position the keeper is at home mm -hmm. she is not allowed to the attacker is not allowed to enter there if she mm. enters there that's a line cut mm. keeper maintains the ball mm -hmm. if her team enters there then the ball goes to the opponent mm -hmm. and so if she leaves there she leaves there the ball goes to the opponent yeah. so she has to stay there and no one goes in and her also she doesn't have she doesn't come, come out, out as well. yeah okay so that is basically fast for safety reasons because mm -hmm. they're on skates it's so fast mm -hmm. So without this, guys would just come and ram into the post every time. Right, right. Yeah, so at least as a player, as the professional players you see here, mm -hmm. they already know that by the time they see that mark, they already know they have to decelerate mm -hmm. or switch Sides. angles. Yeah. yeah, so that they don't go in. Mm -hmm. And then the score is just when the whole ball passes the touchline. Can someone come and giddy? Oh, yeah, okay. So when a ball passes, a whole ball passes the line, mm -hmm. that's a goal. So if it passes half, is that a goal? When the ball passes half? Is that goal line technology? <laughs> yeah. Is what I'm asking you. Is what? it? I think so. Is it? No, it's not. It's not. Yes. Correct. Really. Yes. Yes. Really. Thank you very much. Really VR. Really, really, VR. really VR. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so the ball has to pass the whole of it. All right. Is when it's considered okay. a goal. Also, now when you do, now I told you that after uh, the fifth penalty, six, seven, eight, it's uh, after the uh, foul. foul mm -hmm. Now we have penalties. Okay. So I will. Get someone to demonstrate how a penalty is played. Didi. Uh -huh. So first you have to position. And then you're not supposed to pass this line. This is the penalty line. Okay. So if the person playing passes this line, that uh, penalty is not counted, whether it's a score or not. Uh -huh. Okay. Then the keeper also has to stay on the touch line before the penalty is played. Okay. Then I blow and then you play. All right. Let's see how it will go. Let's see how it will go. <laughs> That's not a score. Willis, may, may I just give Willis to try? <laughs> Willis, just let me help you with this. <laughs> <laughs> let me give Willis an example so, first. Uh, uh, so it's any, this way or this way? Any side you feel comfortable. Usually this is for lefties, because they feel comfortable yes. like this. So, so and like if you're a lefty and you're like this. What can you represent Obama, but I'm a righty. Uh, but you want to. So you do evil. That's a, it's allowed, you can Obama. fake. Yes. So you should you're already at the line, yeah, so that would basketball. be that and is then a I booking. notice that the, when back, I bounce G. You have to move back. You have to be no, no, when I bounce there's some speed. Yeah. That's a professional ball. Yes, then I blow the whistle. So I can anywhere I blow Anywhere as within it's inside. Okay. As long as it's inside. And can I H tour? Yeah, you can. Oh, very good. <laughs> it's over. But you have seconds. The oh. minute I blow, you have less than four seconds. Okay. So, Gishtu at the first second, the third second, the fourth second, the fifth second, your penalty is over. Okay. So, you have to Gishtu, Gishtu and play. Sorry. Yes. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, I'm ready. <laughs> nice one. I'll give you a, a second try. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Don't be hard on yourself. She's a professional I've goalkeeper. I've tried everything. So, yes. <laughs> I've tried everything. Karibu ata ata ni majaribu kufake na macho. Ki Cristiano. Yes. Anyway. All right, so, so those are the basics of the game. Okay, so I want yeah, to talk to yeah. uh, some of the players, yeah. and then also then get to talk to the officials as well. And okay. uh, but you know, you know, so let's again, ladies first. What you don't get now, when you're in So how long have you uh, been uh, playing rollerball, and why did you decide to go to How? Did, what was your first encounter with rollerball? Uh, I've played rollerball since 2013. Oh, okay. Uh, I was in KU. Okay, I love sports, uh -huh. so I was in KU. So one day, I saw people skating, uh -huh. so I was interested. Uh -huh. First, I told my mom to buy me skates. Right. Aliniambia, hiyo itakuwa chana na So uh, I found these guys skating, uh -huh. then I was interested. Then they linked me up with the president, uh -huh. Mr. Litaba, who gave me his skates. Uh -huh. uh, he was also skating, uh -huh. so ni cover skates. So that's when I started uh, playing the game. Uh -huh. Then he catches a World Cup. I, I trained for two weeks. Then I was able to to play for the Kenya 
uh, roll ball team. Wow. Yeah, okay. the, well, the second World Cup. Some intense two weeks. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, congratulations for that as well. And you just know, my guy, no, my guy, no goalkeeper, but I just know, guy. Will someone do a decathlon? I'm okay. Jenkins, decathlon. Okay. So uh, tell us also for, for you, like, what has been your journey? Like, how did you start? Okay, for me, um, first of all, I used to see this thing on TV. Okay. Like everyone at home. So when I came to campus, it was the first time I saw guys skating. You know, from the village. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, so I met a friend, a guy knew from the school I was. He, I asked him, how can I know this? He taught me. So I started training with the, my team mm -hmm. at JQuart. Mm -hmm. So later on, I joined the national team. I was selected. It was it has been hard. You know, my parents are watching. Uh, shout out, shout out. Yeah. <laughs> Big up, yes. <laughs> yeah. They've been supporting me. Actually, they've never seen me play. They just know I play a game, mm -hmm. the national team, and they know they support me anyway without knowing what I play. It's I thank them so much mm -hmm. for that. So say wa meona, wa meona. Citizen, no say akona. All right, big shout yeah. out to yeah. them as well. Yeah. Okay, so I want to allow you guys to do uh, one more set, and then we'll talk to uh, the president and. Uh, we're going to find out more about the sport as well because I see also some trophies there they'll walk us through yeah. and then tutakuwa uh, tutarejea tena so if you have any questions about that, the hashtag to use is Daybreak yeah, there they are those are all the trophies of one imagine during all this time not to release a PRJ sirikali ko hapi aya tuendele sawa guys so you guys ready Center. Nice one. Yeah. <laughs> Very good goal. Very good goal. Referee's confusion is final. Nice steal. Play corner. <laughs> That's a booking because she has slapped someone. Play on. Last play. Nice goal. Game over. Line up. Line up. All right, so I want to go over and sit down up with you. Uh, when I'm ready for On a job, by the way. Anyway, so <laughs> so when I'm ready for we'll talk. I'll have to talk to you. We'll see so how. Na. That is how simple the game is. Simple, you say. Yes. How long as does long it take? <laughs> how long did it take you, for example, to learn to skate? Um, personally, I've been skating for ten years right wow. now. Wow. Yes. <laughs> ten years. <laughs> and for you no, know, is it uh, maybe Ref can tell us for taller people? Is it uh, difficult to? Now, now let me approach that as a as a coach. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. uh, taller people, as long as you train them well on balance, height is not a factor. Yeah. Actually, height is an advantage. Okay. 
Because uh, as you see, uh, when they had the ball, I told them, let's play over balls. And they got scores. Because uh, once you have tall guys, then you're playing against, we call them in our team, minimis. <laughs> Easy teams, fupi fupi. I want to mention countries. Yes. Yeah, you just play balls as you want to too, but they never get the ball. Yes. Yeah, so that's a smart play. Uh, yeah, then also as you've seen, uh, as a coach, you have to always get guys who have the passion for the game. Mm. Uh, these guys buy their own skates, mm. which is over 15,000 Kenya shillings. The likes of Joanne, hopefully you'll talk to her. Mm -hmm. She's been in the game for over nine year, six years right now. Mm -hmm. And I imagine skate can only stay for only three months. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine all the so Yeah. Good. And that and that I, I would like to <coughs> send a very much uh, can you call it chat out? I'm an Islam. Yeah, the, those sponsors that have helped us reach where we are. Sure, sure. I feel without them we wouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. Uh Alpha Fit, they're the guys who supported the national team on gym training for four months free of charge man. Mm -hmm. Guys were just going there, wanna pick a gym, wanna kuja kwa tizi. You know, they are player shah, huh? Mm -hmm. So you're back, you're developing the mind. The it's mind. easy yes, yes. and it's a and big save. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so uh, Alpha Fit, thanks a lot. We have Ipora Security that also facilitated our travels to India, Bangladesh. We also have GOA Church that has always offered assistance, spiritual nourishment, and also strategic plays uh, to the team. Kenyatta University, I'm one of the students. The president also is a director there. Kenyatta University always offers tournaments. To kick Kosa to grow anytime. We always turn to Kenyatta University because Najwa always it wangusha. Yeah, so majorly those guys have helped us and nge kwa kochumbaya ni sipo sema me tusaidia. That would be so unfair. Apple, sir. Na mungu tena kuju. Na mungu pia. Yeah, others, thank you. Kriyo spiritual, mbuna wukutakanya mungu. Thank you. Manisa. All right, so we wanna learn more about uh, the game and the, so I don't know. I think it's a car hopper. I'll give you an anyway, as well. So, uh, so you are just associated with uh, with uh, uh, Joanne over there. So we know Joanne. At least she got a chance to introduce herself earlier. Or maybe you'll introduce yourself to some of the user. Uh, Karani Warohi is my name. I'm a member of the Kenya Robo Federation. All right. Samuel Litaba is my name. Uh, the president for Kenya Rollball Federation. Mm -hmm. So I'll start with you, uh, Samuel. Tell us a little bit about the history of Rollball. I know there are so many trophies here. We'll walk through them a little bit later on. But tell us how did it start and how has it been developing? Well, Rollball started in 2010, and uh, the first World Cup we went to was in 2011 in a place called Pune in India. And the game has been growing since that time. Uh, the first World Cup we only had men playing, but the second World Cup which we hosted in Kenya in 2013, we had the women uh, coming in and some of the players are still uh, going on. Uh, Joan and uh, Stella ha were played in that World Cup and they have kept on playing all along. Yeah, so we have done well in East Africa. Uh, we are the reigning champions, Africa. Uh, we are currently the reigning champions and in the world both men and women are ranked position three uh, but uh, it's good to mention that we have also won the world cup mm -hmm. the women uh, won the world cup uh, the third world cup in india yeah so th that is uh, i think a, a big milestone yes and uh, we were also uh, awarded at the soya awards because of that Mm -hmm. Yeah, so otherwise the game is growing. Uh, I normally say when you reach a point where players don't know who the president is, <laughs> to me, it means the game is growing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So nowadays when I go to the game, some people don't know who I am. Yeah. I don't know who they are. Yeah. So I'm glad that the teams now are quite a number of teams. We have uh, almost 30 teams that are playing the game of rollball. Mm -hmm. Uh, juniors are also coming up quite well and next year god willing we will host the first junior mm -hmm. uh, world cup mm -hmm. yes. all right and so you see samuel it was samuel karani karani, karani. Here, call karani. It. so tell me karani about that how you know it's developed and you being a member as well as the federation how has it developed and what challenges what are some of the major challenges that uh, uh thank you thank you for that uh, uh, and thank you again once again for giving us this opportunity to be in the studio uh, we've had several challenges in, in rollball. Uh, principally, we don't have uh, sufficient grounds. 
there is the indoor arena which is under the the, the sports stadium uh, the the sports kenya uh, but again for us to find out to 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 be able to compete to to play to train in that in that in that arena we it's, it's a bit expensive for us we are still a young federation and we're short of funds so we would make a kind of a appeal to well wishers uh, sponsors who would be willing to come come on board uh, and support us like you've heard uh, most of our players are students uh, by, by by extension they don't have any any reliable means of income and for them to finance themselves uh, the upkeep uh, the equipment it can be relatively expensive so that principally has been one of the challenge yeah, the second challenge has been uh, lack of uh, proper recognition uh, uh, because of the limitation of the finances again we don't have mechanisms of, of uh, creating publicity to to the general public uh, and uh, we feel very privileged to be here so that we can reach out most of the Kenyans uh, watching Kate, uh, Citizen TV now. Mm -hmm. yeah. And also, uh, maybe I can ask Joanne as well. You've been, as, uh, you said, nine years. Uh, six years. Six years. Yeah. You're nine years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, welcome. So for, welcome. For the six years for you, how have you developed like, through, the, through the sport as well? And I'm sure you've seen it develop. So for, for individually, have you developed and how have you seen the sport develop as well? Right, so when we started Droll Ball, like in 2013, we were just a uh, few ladies. Uh, actually, we hustled a lot to get more ladies. We were like five ladies there, like who were training, ongoing training. And then some of them joined us when we went to the camp, which was at Kasharani. Mm -hmm. So we were like, uh, we didn't have enough players substitute. We didn't have we like, uh, like two substitute and six players, so eight guys. But from there, uh, right now we have so many. It's even a challenge to get to the national team. Yeah. There's so much competition. Uh, guys are playing from, uh, we have teams in Ika, Greta University, Meru University, they're playing. We have guys in Coast playing roll ball. So I can say like uh, roll ball has grown from 2013 up to now compared to now. Yeah. Uh, it's like immensely grown, yeah? Yeah. yeah? But now the main challenge is now the government recognition. Despite all that, despite us being able to play the World Cup, going outside, like we went to, guys went to India in 2015. They were the champions, the ladies got the championship. And like nobody even knew that we went outside the country to play. Even when we came back, nobody knew we came back. It was just silent. Uh, then we went to 2017, the same happened. So uh, it's been a challenge to get government recognition. Mm -hmm. and, so, and, and I guess also consequently support as well. Yeah, I can yeah. say that. Okay. Uh, uh, we had a main challenge in 2015 whereby they ha they went like five players, just five players, and one of the players joined the team. She had to pay her own air tickets to join the, the team there. So the government didn't come in any way. Those players were paid for the air tickets and accommodation was catered for by the International Federation. So you can imagine the guys played without any substitute at all. And they wow. managed to come like number one. Wow. Yeah. Right. And so... Uh, a ref stroke coach yes so for for then uh you know like have, oh, sorry this guy is up a doing his, stance yeah. his standing stance up for for somebody to do, to you know join and become a good player what does it take i mean what we are seeing here is the finished product yeah. let's call it that <laughs> but i'm sure there is a process to it yes yes maybe walk us through that process uh so um me as a coach when i'm when i'm I want to commit to train players and team. I'm not so much on physicality, yeah. One, I love working with players who are internally motivated. Mm. Yeah, players who have the, push, yeah, yeah. have the passion, they want to push themselves. Because to me, I believe that those are the best players, yeah. Those are the ones that you tell stuff and they do them, yeah. So one, I consider person's heart and fight inwardly and then secondly i usually consider more of smart play yeah i always have sessions psychology sessions for the players so that when someone does something automatically they know what's going next you know and they're always alert on the games and that is a bit different from most other referees for unfortunately unfortunately people focus on on, on body and strength mm. in most sports um, um, in Kenya, yeah? But that is a bit different from Robo. We focus on mind strength, yeah? Because we, we, uh, we only, we, I think we have hosted only twice. We have hosted one World Cup in Kenya, then an East African Championship. Often you go outside. 
Going outside means that you don't have home support. Yeah. So if your player is not mentally strong, then what the fans will be saying will get into their heads. Yeah. But our players perform because they're mentally strong. They know that we are in no man's land. This is not our home. But that won't to our show. Yeah. But that won't prevent us from bringing back the cup. Yeah. And that is one thing I consider. As per training, that a bit depends on uh, a player's commitment and also learning. You know. Um, I st uh, I'm a teacher in the making. Mm -hmm. So we are told that learning, not everyone will understand the same speed. Some are slow learners, some are fast learners. But what counts is at the end of the day, they learn. So in skating, if you're fully committed, I know guys who are skating in within two weeks and they are skating. Then now after that, now Kazi Kwaku as a player. Me as a coach, I'll give you the skills, I'll give you everything. So it is you to now shape yourself as a player. You will decide on which type of player you want to become. And then it is your exercise that will maybe allow you to join the national team or maintain uh, in your club or maintain mm. in your school. Because mm. when I was playing Kenyatta University, I took almost three years in the Union national team. You get. And now that I did my part, now I moved on so that someone else can come and take my vacancy in the school team and the national team. Because I believe that we say that we want a youthful country and we want a youthful society, yeah. Then it is about time that we, the young, have to switch some things. We are used to seeing referees was there. I'm a beat, you know, and, and <laughs> very, 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 I'm a kunjasura, yeah? Yeah. Now it's about time, yeah? We bring young, young coaches. To come yeah, we're bringing yeah. young coaches into the game. We're bringing young referees into the game. The manata was you, Elewana. Because at least to Nelewana, Akisema, hey, coach, hey, nasikia ku odi. You know, I will understand it can be a sour. After this, meka mziki odi. Ama mtana skowa kwanza, anenda kula KDF a rudi game. You know, uh -huh. so these are motivations that not unless you're in that age bracket, you can't understand. You, you, you right. won't understand. Yeah. yeah. So All to right. me, um, that is the what I'm using for now. Mm -hmm. More of psychology, and then blending with the players. Mm -hmm. We are one family to school a game. These are World Cups in the And the leg will come. Yeah. Uh, I would ask also to Mr. President. So what what is the the vision for Kabadi? Like what? what uh, <laughs> Kabadi. Well, just, uh, family. Kabadi, 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 where is the camera? Anyway, so what is the vision for Roll Ball? What, where do you want to see it? Well, uh, Roll Ball needs to get uh, bigger. I wish to r see a point where all the schools are playing Roll Ball. Uh, secondary schools, primary schools, uh, colleges, universities, clubs. Everyone in Kenya. Uh, should be playing roll ball or at least cheering roll ball. So that's our vision. We are looking at a big uh, uh, crowd coming to see roll ball. Uh, in fact, bigger than football. Mm. Uh, yes, I, I believe. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's an exciting sport. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we are working hard towards it. Uh, you can see the players are committed. The officials are also working hard. Uh, we just need a little support here and there, and I think we will be able to, to reach out. Uh, but we also ask those in the schools and the other systems to pick up the sport so that it can grow right from the juniors up to the seniors, and uh, we can continue excelling uh, as we are doing at the World Cup, East Africa, and, and Africa uh, levels, yes. Mm -hmm. So maybe mm -hmm. also you, you can tell us, so how, how does it happen uh, in other countries? You know, uh, Joanne was telling us about how he has, because of the country sometimes, they, you have to self-sponsor. So in other countries, what, what happens is that the governments come in, how does it work? Thank you. Uh, to a large extent, most of the developed countries have uh, the, the, the government ministries, the sports ministries coming on board and supporting the, 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 the sport. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so then they, they take care of everything. In the e exactly. The, exactly. The and everything. Uh, but, uh, yeah, like, large and buy. All right. Exactly. And so if somebody wants to, uh, most of the people of have heard say they represent Kenya in the national, in the national team. And you've said uh, now, at the Joanna Masama Seni Wenge, so how do you make the cut? <laughs> How do you get there? You want us to do a series. Do a series. Watch a quarter of since I've come up and done it. How long? So, um, uh, I would say it's uh, 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 Gontrix was saying uh, it's all according to the player. Your initiative, yeah. You have to work hard on your own even before you go for team training, yeah. 
So you just work on your weaknesses. For example, you can see uh, we have so many goalkeepers and you have to make it to the national team. Like we just need two goalkeepers, a goalkeeper and a sub, yeah? So you really have to work on your own. Make sure your flexibility, like you can go to the gym, make sure your conditioning is on point and everything. Uh, and if you like playing on the ground, let's say like um, a center man, we need to all people for that. If you're short like me, you just find another <laughs> option. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you have to like be creative and make your work on your weakness and make your strength stronger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that you can make it to the team. All right. Yeah. And what about uh you know for the federation? Are there people who are joining? Is there a structure? What what is the structure of the federation? Uh this begins at the club level. Then we have we have clubs uh, almost all, all around the country. Uh, so they do their recruitment. Uh, we usually have a national league every once uh, a year. And we, we concluded our national league for the uh, uh, a week ago. Uh, so as we get now to the, the naming of the national team that will represent Kenya in the FIFA World Cup, um, dynamics are, are in play now for the coaches uh, and the refs to provide us with the listing of, of the, the people from the club level they recommend to the national team. When is that going to be? Uh, the, 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 the national, the, the Olympic, the FIFA Olympic World, World Championship will be in November, 12th to 17th November okay. this year. This year. Uh, but uh, next year we'll have the junior, the junior World Cup uh -huh. in Kenya. All right. So I'll just allow Nico Chama president who will walk us through the trophies. John. John. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so walk us through all the trophies that have been won, people here. Uh, again. So to answer now. Uh, let's start with the, uh, this one. The smallest. This one, so yeah. <laughs> All right. Good. So these are from Kigali, Rwanda. Mm -hmm. We went there for East Africa Championships. That was the first East Africa Championships. Mm -hmm. So you can see these for the ladies. We were the winners and the guys over here. Oh, so the ladies. Yeah, yeah we were the champions. The gentlemen. Yeah. yeah. 2015. Yeah, man, this is in 2015 as well. Yeah. All right. Then from 2015, uh, we have one missing trophy. Mm -hmm. 2015 World Cup. We went to Pune, India, and the ladies were the champions. Mm -hmm. So they won a trophy for that, the championship. And then when we came to Kenya, we won this one. That was the uh, Soya Women Award mm -hmm. for second runs up. All right, so this is another one. Yeah, in the couple of Nikishika. Ballon d'Or. It's, it's the equivalent because this is for the best of the best. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And then we come here. These ones here are from East Africa again. Uh -huh. From 2015, this is 2016. We had uh, the championships in Kenya, Kasarani. Uh -huh. So the guys won. We were championships. And uh, the ladies won this one here. All right. Yeah. From East Africa. So we've never been beaten in East Africa, actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nice. It's just trophy after trophy. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Uh, then from there, we'll go to 2017. Uh, we had the World Cup in Bangladesh, Dhaka. Inuzito. Inuzito. Catch, catch, catch. So both the ladies and, and the guys, Inuzito. we got second runners, runners up. So that was after India were the champions. Then there was Iran and then Kenya. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Both categories. Bangladesh. You design. design. So this is for... Uh, second runners second up, runners up. And yeah. the same, both, the same well, both women and uh, the guys, yeah. All right, and then uh, in May this year, this is this Jersey, year, two months ago, we went to no, Uganda two, three weeks ago, three weeks ago, oh, three weeks ago yeah. <laughs> we Wallace went to Uganda uh -huh. for East Africa Championships, that was the fourth East Africa Championships, and we were the winners. This women, is for the women, and then the guys over here, and the, and the guys, men. So my trophy is too. I think I'm going to ask Arsenal one Anglai one. Ah ah. On a shanga sign. Ah ah. The trophies ni mingi kulikuza. Pa pa. All right. So uh, we've been the champions ever since 2015 East Africa. Uh, there was the African Championships mm -hmm. in um, last year, 2017 actually, in uh, Tanzania. Uh, that was uh, inclusive of Egypt, now and East African countries, mm -hmm. and we were the champions. The trophy is not here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So then uh, I'll ask uh, also the president just maybe to give what is your, your you know your final appeal also to people who are watching because now another question that I'll get a lot 
is that come out on a, because guys are always excited at what I like to call they they show up at the end of the movie. Wow, and our trophy or it's been so many years in the making. But obviously there's going to be a lot of interest now. So two questions. One, what would be your appeal uh in terms of how people regard the sport and two, how does somebody join up if they want to be part of the team? Okay. So joining is uh, very simple. Uh You'll need to get to, to get in touch with us through. I think social media is easier. Mm -hmm. Maybe Joan will tell us how to do that. <laughs> 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 All right. So uh, we have a Twitter handle. Uh, it's at Rollball underscore Kenya, and then we on uh, uh, Instagram Kenya Rollball Federation. Mm -hmm. There's also 316 Rollball campaign on Instagram. And there's SWAT Rollball on Instagram. Mm -hmm. So you can reach out to all of that. And you can follow this Team Hornets on Facebook. So you can also follow them <laughs> if you want to join them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. <laughs> right. So uh, you have all those avenues to get in touch. But uh, most of the time we are at, uh, at, at, at Kasarani outside the gate four. So that's where we hold our league matches and uh, also uh, the other competitions. So uh, that's one way you, you can get in touch. The other way, the other thing is that uh, we'd like uh, support from well-wishers, from partners. We'd like to partner with uh, cop the corporate world and uh, the government so that uh, the game can be able to grow. Because one of our big problems is the equipment, that is the kit. Uh, you need a helmet, you need guards for the elbows, knee guards, and you need the, the skates.
Welcome. Well, want to talk. Welcome, uh, welcome to Dave. We're going to talk about this amazing sport that's called roll ball, and it has. I'll, I'll invite the El Capitan, uh, You know, we want to talk about this sport, and uh, it's been. I mean, like we advance. I mean, they've won trophies. I don't know. We'll see them there. Up here at the background, uh, you can see the trophies right there at the back, and uh, we are going to see exactly what the sport entails. And of course, for more of that, the professional. Maybe it doesn't I could introduce. 